those are your vena cava. So on the very top, you'll find your superior vena cava. All right? Take a look at that. And from the bottom, what do you have? Your inferior, your inferior vena cava. So look at the bottom, and you'll see your inferior vena cava. All right? Now, the superior and inferior vena cava, they will empty into the right atrium. So if you open up your heart like this, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, they will merge into your right atrium. From your right atrium, you need to go through a valve. You'll go through the tricuspid valve, which is your right AV valve, into your right ventricle. Right? Okay. Just following along? So from your right ventricle, you're going to pump the blood out through your pulmonary valve, which is a semi-lunar valve. So for that, you find the pulmonary trunk, which is going to be on the front side, and it's still blue because we have no oxygen. So the pulmonary valve is going to be entering into the pulmonary trunk. From the pulmonary trunk, we're going to split into the pulmonary artery. So there is one that goes to the left side and one that goes to the right side. So here is the pulmonary trunk. To the left, we have a pulmonary artery. And then to the right, which is you see in the back, we have another pulmonary artery. Right? From the pulmonary arteries, we go to where? Where do the pulmonary arteries bring you to? The lungs. The lungs, right? So now we're at the lung. So maybe if you need a help reminder, after the pulmonary artery, you're right in there, okay, that's where your lungs come in. And so importantly, what happens at the lungs? Oxygen. You get oxygen, right? Which means your blood is gonna turn what color? Red. Red. So notice so far when we've been going through everything, it's been blue, right? Now we're gonna be looking for the red. So we go to the lungs, we pick up the oxygen, now we're going to return back to the heart through the pulmonary veins. There's actually four of them. There's two on the right side and two on the left side. If you look right here, these two red vessels coming in, those are pulmonary veins. And then if you look on the right side, these two vessels coming in in red are also pulmonary veins. And they both, all four of them, will enter the left atrium. So now we have nice oxygenated blood in the left atrium. From the left atrium, we go through the bicuspid or mitral valve, which is your left AV valve. From that valve, we drop down to your left ventricle. From the left ventricle, we exit through the aortic valve, which is a semi-lunar valve. And from there, you go out through the aorta, which is this nice, bright, red, big vessel right here. And then from the aorta, we go to the rest of the body. Now, you might notice on your model, so you have the aorta coming out, nice and red, oxygenated, going through your entire body. You might notice that there are actually three little branches kind of sticking up, right, superior of the aorta. Right? So we need to actually identify these three branches. As you're coming up the aorta, follow the path. The very first branch that you see, that is going to be your brachiocephalic trunk. The second branch you see, the middle one, that's going to be your left common carotid artery. And then the last branch you see, that's going to be your left subclavian artery. All right? So again, you're coming up the aorta, and you see three branches. The first one is the brachiocephalic trunk. The second middle one, is the left common carotid artery, and then the last one is your left subclavian artery. Essentially, these three are going to branch off and give blood to different parts of your body. Okay, so that's the pathway. We want to cover two more important arteries. We want to cover the coronary circulation. So remember, some of the arteries will come to the heart itself. So the two arteries we want to find are the right and left coronary artery. Remember, when you look at the heart like this, it's like this position. So this is my right side and this is my left side. So if we want to look for the right coronary artery, we're going to look for it right here between the right atrium on the top and the right ventricle on the bottom. So 
So this thick artery coming between that is your right coronary artery. On the left side, your left coronary artery actually comes down right here, almost where the interventricular septum is, basically right down the middle. That's the start of your left coronary artery. And remember, both of these arteries, the right and left coronary arteries, are supplying the heart with blood. And then there's also a few other sub-arteries beneath the right and left coronary arteries, so we're not going to go through those. I just want you guys to know the right and left coronary.